Hello everyone, what is up and welcome back to my channel if you're new. My name is Brianna and welcome to just a fun little chatty hanging out style of vlog. It is my lunch break and for some reason I just was like, I want to pick up the camera. I want to vlog. I want to hang with the gals. I want to hang with the girls. So I thought, you know what? Let's just pick up a vlog from the afternoon into the evening. So it's going to be just kind of like a day in the life vlog. I worked, I'm still working today, right? Like worked all morning. So it is going to be a nice, just fun, chatty vlog. One of the reasons why I wanted to start a vlog in general was because I actually went shopping at Sephora this weekend and did a big restock up of all my favorites on top of a few new favorites. So, or like new things to try and old returning favorites if that makes sense so I wanted to share that so that I could share that with all of you you're always asking like what am I buying at Sephora what's my makeup routine skin stuff so I'm like you know what let's show the girls let's show the girls that we bought at Sephora I also got in two really fun packages one of them is from a Disney small shop so I'm excited for that to talk about for our upcoming trip and then I have another package as well to unbox and then I don't really know Corey and I are gonna have a little at-home date night tonight because my parents are out for the night and I think we're gonna do our Legos and just relax and hang so welcome to just a fun little chatty chaotic fun little vlog but I just filled up my Stanley because I feel like I'm dying of thirst I am really trying to drink a lot more water for the last probably maybe two-ish three-ish weeks I am running on empty like my body's running on empty I'm overtired I'm exhausted and I have just been like I drink a coffee in the morning and then in the afternoon my heart is like palpitating so I'm trying to drink way more water I used to drink like this thing is filled with ice and then I would fill it with water once and that's all I would drink and that's really not a lot when the ice is filling up the entire cup so really trying to upgrade my water intake ASMR and so the Stanley is helping me do that but I'm gonna go make some lunch now because like I said I'm on my lunch break and then when I come back we're gonna sit down and do a nice chatty what I got at Sephora. So let's just kind of spend the rest of the day to get the day together. Can I talk today? Like a little bit always like I'm always falling over my words. I feel like my brain is moving faster than my mouth. Does that happen to anyone? That's like me 24 seven. Either way, I'm gonna go grab some lunch, make some lunch, and then I'm gonna come back with probably a crispy little Diet Coke and we'll go through my, what I bought at Sephora. All right, the post-lunch crispy crisp, let's do it. She is gonna be spicy. She's gonna be spicy and that is because, oh, I keep getting my hair, like my straight hair stuck in my Summer Fridays like lip stuff. This one is gonna be nice and crispy because I think this one has been in the fridge for a while. I really haven't had like the Diet Cokes that are in the back of the fridge, they just kind of somehow marinate there for a lot longer. So let's do a first sip. Mmm. That's crispy. She's crispy. She's ready to be drank this afternoon. I'm, what is going on? What is this chaoticness of these vlogs or this vlog, these vlogs? See, like this is what I mean. I'm just, I'm in a crazy mood today. I don't know. I just wanted to vlog. I just wanted to pick up the camera and I'm excited to share my Sephora haul. Very excited. Two caveats. The first thing is I ended up going a little crazy with this Sephora stuff because I did at the end of January, like right at the beginning of the month of February, receive a little bonus from work. And when I get my bonuses, I like to save a good chunk of them. I like to use them for needs or like things I need to restock on versus using that needs money later on in the year when I don't have the bonus. And then in addition, treating myself as well. So with this Sephora haul, all of this was a very much like you need it and you wanna treat yourself all kind of wrapped in one. So I like to use my bonus money sometimes for that stuff because it just makes it a little bit easier later on in the year when I don't have, you know, an X amount of, you know, numerical bonus money come in and I actually can use it a little bit more for needs or things that I want versus having to restock when I don't have the bonus money. So we're going to go through my stuff from Sephora, but the first thing I want to share is actually not from Sephora. It's just one thing. I ended up getting this for Corey. It is from Warby Parker and it is this double-sided glasses case. So they actually open on both sides. So one here and one here. However, if you notice they do not go all the way through like 
so you actually can put two pairs of glasses in and there's like a thin layer like this in the middle is actually where like the glasses won't scratch so for Corey, for example he has prescription sunglasses and like regular his glasses and he always forgets them so i'm like this is literally perfect for your bag for the beach for anything when it comes to having a pair of glasses when you also have your prescription sunglasses too because when he wears actual glasses he forgets about his prescriptions or he'll forget to bring his regular glasses and then he has to walk around with sunglasses on because they're his prescription this was a nice find i can link it down below i think it was only 20 bucks we got it in the shade midnight which was just their black shade so i actually love warby parker's sunglasses like cases i think they're really nice great quality and i love that they're really soft and i think they're very durable as well so i plan to actually invest in two or three of those to put my sunglasses in and i also like that they're thinner so that's like a one quick little thing but with that being said let's get into my sephora haul we're really just gonna pull these things out of the bag so first and foremost i stocked up on my b hydra intensive hydration serum this was out of stock for a while at Sephora probably like almost during Christmas time I could not find it and this is something that I swear by so my fear is that I'm almost currently done with the one I have and then I'm not going to be able to find it and wanted to restock it so I picked that up next is the Tula skincare so poreless deep exfoliating blackhead scrub this exfoliator is hands down my favorite exfoliator in the world it is more gel like it's not super harsh it's not extremely abrasive but it does exfoliate my skin super well and i really am a tula girl i've used their face wash for years and i love love tula this is probably my hands down favorite product from them besides their cult classic face wash but i love this and i haven't used it in probably about two months I ran out and I just haven't rebought it because I ended up buying a small one from Trader Joe's so I did get that next is I got a restock on my Dr. Jart Ceramidin skin barrier moisturizing cream I'm almost out of the first one that I ever bought and let me tell you I love love that moisturizer it is one of my favorites from 2023 i found it through jessica braun and let me tell you this has made the biggest difference when it comes to my eczema breakouts around my mouth and around my eye as well because i do want to exfoliate and get off the dead eczema skin however i also need to be protecting my skin barrier because if not it comes back in vengeance if you have eczema you know you know so this is a dream the other thing is that corey has super dry skin between like end of december and through the month of january and into february and so he will actually use this when he gets out of the shower and he's found that when he does a lot of that dry skin just goes right away and he doesn't even have it anymore so i got that next i ended up buying four of the sephora eye like eye patches there's one pair per container so i got two in one like two of one i was gonna say flavor like two of one set and two in another so the watermelon is for hydrating glow watermelon eye mask and then i got these which are pomegranate eye masks anti-fatigue and anti-dark circles these felt really nice to be able to actually start to use i wanted to prioritize some self-care this month as well and i feel like i do have like i don't have any makeup on today besides a little bit to cover up this spot but i have some pretty i feel like dark under eyes but i also feel like because i've been using that vinyl perfect from codaly it's been helping a lot but i still wanted to get some eye patches sometimes i come out of the shower and i don't want to do a full face mask but i want to do a little bit of self-care and these are like four dollars a piece so i was like you know what i'm going to invest and get a few and enjoy those next i ended up picking up this has been the best find i actually found this because one of my really good friends katie uses it and she recommended it been addicted ever since it is the pharmacy green clean makeup melt away cleansing balm this stuff also if i didn't mention i'll have everything linked down below and if you purchase anything through those links it supports my channel and gives me a small little commission but at no extra charge to you so thanks in advance okay back to the programming this this makeup balm is incredible it smells great it does not break me out it is absolutely fantastic i used the inky list oat cleansing balm Hated it, hated the smell. It was super oily, super disgusting. This melts my makeup away. It is absolutely fantastic and I love it. Next, I did end up picking up and I did buy the full size, the Caudalie Paris Vino Perfect, um, I don't know, Radiant Serum Complexion Correcting Face Neck and Decolletage Oil Free. 
basically. I believe that this is for dark spots. I also think it is for vitamin C as well. So let's read a little bit about it. So it says all skin types, anti-dark spots, radiance, and I love it. I ended up, this was a pricey. I'm gonna say that right now. This was $80. That is very expensive and I'm very well aware. I think that you can have skincare that ranges from $5 to $50 to $100 to $12. Whatever works for your skin. I do not believe that you need high-end products always to have really good skin. I don't think that's necessarily the case. However, I did get three trial sizes of these from Sephora with my points and I loved the way that I feel like it was making my skin. I find that my skin is a little bit shinier and I do think the darkness underneath my eyes is going away and because I do have some eczema sometimes on this eye, this dark spot in the corner of my, this is going to look so silly, the dark spot in the corner of this eye I do feel like has helped it go away and mute the darkness based on this so I am going to use the entire bottle. Let's see if I really love it that much that I will go and repurchase it because $80 is a pretty steep price but I am excited for it and to give it a try. And then the last, is this my last skincare thing? Oh, I got this with my points as well. It was 100 points. It's the Ultra Repair Cream. I got this because now Corey and I can travel with this when we go to Disney next month because it's just really small and little. So I feel like that was perfect. And then the last skincare item I got and then we can get into some makeup is the Ula Hendrickson Banana Bright Eye Cream. I was using the First Aid Beauty Eye Cream with the Hyaluronic Acid. It was kind of burning my eczema like on my eye. Didn't love that. Wasn't sure if that meant it was working or hurting me. So I put that aside. I'm not going to use that for a little while. I ended up getting a trial of this and I really enjoyed it. I loved the way that it felt on my skin. I felt like my eyes were getting really bright and you don't need a lot of eye cream. So this one is a like a Oh my god, it looks so pretty and like satisfying in that little pot. So I am excited to give this a go. Again, this was a, a pricier item and I know that I have a lot of name brand skincare. However, because of my eczema and because of the way that my skin reacts to certain things with fragrance or perfumes, I have to be really, really cognizant and careful of what I put on my skin. And I also think that you can have whatever kind of skincare or spend the money on whatever makes the most sense for you. I'm someone that prefers to spend my money on skincare care and some more higher end makeup products minus some stuff from the drugstore makeup wise because I like that too but because of my skin and the eczema I always have to be super super careful of ingredients and just make sure that I'm doing right by my skin so that's a quick defending on myself having more higher end skincare but let's get into my next thing which is makeup so here is everything that I bought for makeup we're gonna go through it together some of it is a repurchase some of it is new shades of things some of it is brand new to me so let's go through it the first thing which is a repurchase however I actually haven't used this in probably I want to say a year because mine got really like icky and I needed to throw it out it was probably way past the expiration date but it is the tower 28 sunny days SPF tinted sunscreen this is the best like when I tell you I love tower 28 stuff the reason I also love tower 28 is they are accepted by the National Eczema Association and like I quite literally have eczema so this is one of my favorite products I actually haven't used this I would like I said in probably about a year this is one of my favorite products for vacation and for Disney as well because it is a little bit thicker than your standard tinted SPF so it gives a little bit more coverage but it doesn't break out my eczema especially if I'm wearing makeup every day so if you're in the market for a tinted sunscreen I cannot recommend Tower 28's enough it is by far one of my favorites next I also got the Tower 28 swipe serum concealer because I wanted something a little bit lighter that would match this really well also my shades I got 25 Ocean Park in the tinted sunscreen and then I got 6.0 IE in the concealer so I can have that written in the description box as well I just wanted to have two things that we're gonna pair super well together the shades are nice I'm also not super tan so I don't mind going back to the store and buying my tanner shade when the time comes but right now we still have a lot more of winter and I really don't want to be buying summer shades just yet and then everything else is actually a lip product so I ended up buying another one of the summer Fridays lip butter bombs in the shade poppy this color is really really pretty again they're all very sheer I'm wearing the pink sugar one right now the 
there really isn't much color to them unless you're getting one of the darker shades. I have every single color of this minus mint. It is the only one that I do not have. This is by far the best product that came out of 2023 in my opinion and the holy grail product that I don't think will ever kick the bucket in my makeup bag, skin care, whatever that might be. I always love having this on my lips. I feel like it's worked extremely well with my eczema. It doesn't break me out. It doesn't make this flare at all and so I love these. On the Summer Fridays train, they also came out with their new Dream Lip Oils. Now, I probably didn't need two, but I bought two because I wanted to get two. So I ended up buying the shade Soft Mauve and Blush Dreams. So these are not like the lip butter bombs. They're not necessarily a ch like a chapsticky more sticky feel they're more of that like lip oil feel i've actually never used a lip oil so i'm excited to try these and i love summer fridays so that is why i invested in those and then this is a brand new that i've never tried as well this is the i've literally never heard anyone talk about this so i was like oh i kind of want to try something from rare beauty because we all know i don't love the blushes they're way too pigmented and i don't think they blend super well and they're just not for me but I like Rare Beauty and I think that Selena Gomez has a great brand so I wanted to support and try something new. It is the Soft Pinch Tinted Lip Oil in the shade Hope. I put this on my hand like over just on my skin when I was in the store. So pretty, like so delicate. I love the packaging. I feel like it's a little bit more of like a blushy girly pink, which I feel like is really pretty and I think it will look nice as we upcome in the spring as well. So that was a must try because I'd really never heard anyone talking about the lip tint oils so i was like you know what we're gonna get that and then last but not least i actually needed a new one of these because the one that i have is the sephora line of lip liners like their actual pencil and this red bleeds like that lip liner for some reason i do not like i like sephora's gel rouge lip liners i do not like their wooden liners so i needed a new red so i got the shade what is it 714 full red by makeup forever i love makeup forever's lip liners i have one in like a very dark red wine merlot kind of like the color of my nails but a little bit lighter and i love their lip liner and i needed a new red one to match my dragon girl from nars i probably could have looked in the nars section too but i just know that i love the makeup forever ones so with that being said this is everything that i bought i wish i had the receipt so i could go through and share pricing but full-blown total i think it was about 500 for everything so 500 soup to nuts for everything i know that's a lot of money to be spending at sephora i completely get it i needed some upgrades wanted to try some new makeup and so that is what i used a little bit of my work bonus on from this past year so with that that is everything from sephora wanted to give a fun kind of light-hearted sephora haul and also i can also link everything down below along with the warby parker like sunglass slash glasses actual cases because i am planning to order a few myself so that i don't have to carry around like a really big like bulky sunglass case so that is it for my lunch break i'm gonna go back and sit down and get some more work done and then we can touch base later i want to talk one about a new book that i'm reading that i am obsessed with got me out of a reading slump for sure because i went to start reading it last night at 9 45 and i didn't go to bed until 12 30 and i read 120 pages and all i am thinking about is the end of the work day so that i can pick this book up so We'll talk about a book today. I also got a new fun surprise, which we maybe will unbox and kind of like set up together today. That will be exciting. And then I also got two packages in the mail that I want to open. The, let's see if Corey's on a call. Hey, Cor. Are you on a call? Okay, he's not answering, so he must be. One of the packages is actually a like surprise because colin over at main street thieves i feel like him and i have become like actually pretty good friends like just through instagram like i love him i think he's great i feel like he would vibe with Corey and i so well um as messaging him and saying like what's going on with your new year like hope you're doing well and he had told me that they were launching this new t-shirt and i was like oh my god i love it can't wait for it to launch in your shop like can't wait to support you and he was like do you want me to send you and Corey matching ones and i was like Yes, I do. So I'm going to surprise Corey with those this afternoon on the bed. And then my other package is from 100 Acre Threads, which we'll unbox later. Again, getting into the Ramblies. But cheers, fun little Sephora haul. And I will see you guys this afternoon because we've got some unboxings. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, come see me in it. You got us matching t-shirts. Well, actually, I was messaging <laughs> Colin from Main Street Thieves, and yeah. I was asking him if any new shirts were coming out. Yeah. And he said, this one. And I was like, oh my god, Corey's gonna love that. Like, Didn't let you show me that? Yeah, I was like, let me yeah. know when they drop, because I'd love to buy them. And he was like, do you want me to send you and Corey matching ones? Oh my so god. he sent us matching ones. Oh my god, ones. that's awesome. Isn't that, I was like, Corey's gonna love this shirt. Amazing. I ended up, I think I got you, did I get you a 2X? 2X, that's perfect. And then I got me a large. Oh yeah. Corey, are these not the cutest? I know, I love them. You need a messenger and be like, come out with some Animal Kingdom shit. <laughs> I know, right? It. Animal Kingdom shit. Do you love it? I love it. Oh, okay. speaking of dryer, there's stuff in the dryer. We need to do a fluff dryer. Oh, okay. Perfect. All right, so I just surprised Corey with our shirts. Will we wear them matching? Maybe for like a fun photo op in Hollywood Studios. But I will have Colin's shop link down below. It is Main Street Thieves. I when I tell you I a love Colin and two I love his designs they are so on brand with Corey and I like super cool Disney designs like I just love them and I feel like we would be BFFs in real life if we actually got the chance to meet Colin so it says the tip top club and it is the Tower of Terror like the icon but with a deck of cards and then at the bottom it says join us beyond the fifth dimension the Twilight Zone lounge I love this this with like bike shorts and my leather black ears i am so excited for so he prints all of his tees as well on comfort yeah comfort colors quality is amazing his shirts are great Corey has one of his like guardians epcot shirts as well which he absolutely loves he's planning to wear it on this trip so it looks like we're gonna be decked out in main street thieves i'll have his like small shop link down below with that as well I believe that Colin gave me a code back at Christmas, so I'll message him and ask him if the code is still active. Is it? If it is, I'll put it down below. It should be BTYT20 for 20% off your order. So, also, this is like not sponsored or like partnered in any way. Colin's just an incredible human and offered to send two shirts to Corey and I, and I want to share them because I think his designs and his work is just incredible. So, with that, those are Colin's designs. Well, I guess if I'm already standing here, should I open up my other package? I mean, like, we might as well, right? We're already standing here. Okay, my next package is from 100 Acre Threads. I ended up ordering two shirts from them. I can only, I did. You can, I can only show you one of them because the second one that I ordered actually has the resort that we are staying at embroidered on the front. So that one is gonna be a little bit of a secret because like I said, we like to launch our resorts in the vlogs. But, or the resort that we're staying at in the vlog. This is so cute. Thank you, Brianna. We hope you love your order as much as we loved creating it. And thank you for supporting our small business. Stay connected. And it's just this cute little like postcard that has their 100 acre threads on it. And then down here as well, it just has my like receipt and it just says, thank you so much, handwritten, which is so cute. Okay, I have, this is, okay, perfect. This is the shirt that I was the most excited about. Of course, the other one, but that one, like I said, is a secret because I'm not sharing that one until we're actually staying where we're staying because it has our resort on it. So I ended up getting these in an extra large because the Gildan tees at times will shrink. I would say like a lot, like I have Gildan tees, the, I can have this, this is the brand, the G-I-L-D-A-N, like Gildan brand. They shrink pretty much like right away when they go in the washing machine and I get nervous. I normally hang dry a lot of my stuff, but regardless, I got this shirt, you guys, this is me. It's a bit of me. I'm also watching Love Island, so a bit of me if you've ever heard them say that. What? Do you not love it? This, it's embroidered. It's so minimal. I love it with my bike shorts and my black and white like mini ears. I think it is so cute. I love the minimalist design. Love the extra large for like a really just comfy oversized fit. And I just absolutely love it. So I'm so glad I got that. And then I also ordered this really cute sticker and it is a Soarin' Around the World sticker with the Epcot ball and all the really things. So it says Soarin' Around the World, the Epcot. I just love it so much. And I actually am saving this sticker. I was gonna put it on my laptop, but I'm going to save it because I am going to buy a mini like Awala water bottle to bring with us into the parks this upcoming trip that we have in the next month and so I want to actually make like a Disney specific water bottle so I want to stick that really cool soaring around the world sticker on it so 
that's the haul. Two t-shirts. We got some fun shirts in the mail. Thank you to Main Street Thieves. Thank you, Colin, for sending over some shirts. I'm so excited to wear them. I'll have my code linked down below if it's still activated. I'll message Colin and see if it is. Support his shop because it's great. And then I can link the 100 Acre Threads Epcot tee as well. But now it is time to definitely go back to my desk. And I will see you guys at the end of the work day so that we can talk about the new book I'm reading and we'll just get to hang out together. Okay, it is just about end of the work day. It is 4.30 and I need a quick little snack or a something to get me through the remainder of the day for the next like half hour to an hour. And I have not tried these yet. I got these in my Week in the Life vlog from last week. They are the... Grillo's Pickles Dill Pickle Spears and I'm a pickle girl. I used to love drinking the pickle juice before it was like popular from Jersey Shore. Like I always loved, oh how am I gonna open this? This is really tough to open. And, oh, okay, oh it's kinda like, oh it's really messy. Okay well that's, I'm glad I did it over here. So I am going to give this dill pickle a try. My favorite kind of pickle are the cornichon like pickles but these looked just like I had to have them the other day at Costco. So let's give it a go. I don't want all like the dill on it though. Like should I, I'm gonna dab the bottom a little. I also don't know if these have like an expiration date, but like do pickles, they, I don't think they expire super soon. All right, let's try. Ooh, wow. Corey, these are so good. Are they? Yeah, you wanna come try one? Wow. They're like really crunchy, like a chip. I like them. And they're not like, you know like pickles sometimes, like a dill pickle has a really vinegar taste. These aren't, I feel like super vinegary. I think I like them a lot. I, I don't know if I would buy this big of a tub though. Like, unless it was the summer. You know, like sometimes you have a pickle with a sandwich or something. This tub I feel like will last us months because we will never go through this many pickles. 8.5? 8? Yeah. That's what I would say, I think. And maybe, I don't think that they're bad by any means, but I do wonder if we had eaten them right away, if them also sitting in the, like, juice makes them, not necessarily like soft because they're not soft, they're pretty crunchy, but the top more like wilty. They are good. Okay, it is the end of the work day. I have tried to film this like part a hundred times because I hate the lighting. I even hate it right now, but I'm just gonna get over it and move on. It is end of the work day and we are, me and this gentleman, here he is. We are getting ready for podcasting. Podcast recording, date night. Honestly, date night with the podcast is kind of fun. I think it's gonna be a jolly I feel like time. it's just an additional, like, fun little thing that Absolutely. we get to do. So, mm -hmm. we are podcasting right now. We're doing our top 2023 dining of the year of 2023, but it's park specific. Because mm -hmm. I went to actually do, like, all of our restaurants with it, too, and it was just not good. Also, this lighting is driving me nuts, so oh I have God. to just stop. I have to stop this, and let's get into podcasting, and then we're gonna have a date night at home, but like, look at this light, it's awful. It's pretty blue. It's just <laughs> atrocious. Hey everyone, welcome. You're listening to the Magic at Home podcast, episode 29. I mean, fun for both of us, but I really feel like fun for you. This I feel is like this is a place where you can really... Yeah, we are filming before dinner, but I do think that you're gonna love this. Let's I... also talk about first of how you messed up how to say words in I did. this podcast episode. Can you even believe it? You were making fun of me. Nobody's last time. perfect. They don't overcomplicate the food, Correct. and they do it. And they do it well. Yes. And that's the one thing that I appreciate. That I understand like the numerical value of the meal. It just everything about it I love, from the environment to everything being cooked fresh in front of you to the show to the atmosphere. Okay, so we have on the TV, we just finished up our podcast. It was like an hour and 15 minutes. Like, we podcasted for a while. Like, hour and 15. I think the hotel one is gonna be, like the Disney Springs and like restaurants one is gonna be just about the same. Like, I think the other one that we do is gonna be pretty long. But, like I said, we're doing a little at-home date night because my parents are gone for the evening. So we did the podcast. Corey just went and picked up. We like to do some date nights where we cook and other date nights where we order in. And when I was saying today, oh, what do you wanna do for dinner? I said to him, you know, we can order in or cook. And he was like, oh, let's make it like a true, real date night. Let's order in, like we'll do takeout. We haven't done that in a while. So, 
We got Chinese from a place that is near us. I ended up going for the chicken and broccoli. Corey got shrimp mei fun, and then he also got a pork fried rice, and then we also get the teriyaki beef skewers. Those are like one of my favorites. I think they're an underrated like Chinese food staple. So we're going to enjoy our Chinese food. So ready. Like I have not, we haven't had Chinese in a few weeks since we went to, I guess last week with Angela and Ricky. Yes. But I forgot, we like, lo I love Chinese food and at one of our favorite places closed down by us recently and we found this new one that is like close and like within the hometown of ours. So we're gonna enjoy some Chinese, I'm so excited. I always get chicken and broccoli. You've been on like the shrimp mei fun or like it's the just nice Chinese and, like. It's just nice and light. Here it's, I can move this a little too, bit. But, oh, it's sorry. not too heavy, it's just nice there and light, it's awesome. Yeah. There you go. I want to put you in frame. Thank now you. I'm just like in the Me corner, like hair. a little thumb. Yeah. So with that, we are going to enjoy our dinner. I see you have Hulu on. What are you choosing? What do you think? Bob's? Amen. I was maybe hoping for The Office well, we could do that. or something. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know if I'm in a, in a Bob's mood. Yeah, maybe The Office feels feels good. So we're going to watch our nice TV show and enjoy some takeout for date night, which is so nice. And then I'll share with you the other thing that we're doing for date night. Okay, we have finished dinner. We ended up going to McDonald's to get some ice cream for date night. Corey got a large Diet Coke. He'll be up until... Like, you don't really... Diet Coke that is really such a lie. You. I am going to go to sleep yeah. in 10 minutes. Yeah, Diet Coke doesn't affect you. I am the one who has an espresso after dinner. After at dinner, 10 PM. yeah. And, and then he got sleep. an Oreo McFlurry. I got a vanilla cone. And so now we are starting our fun little segment of date night where we're both going to do Legos. I'm going to do my first ever Lego, and it's a Disney little Frozen Lego. It is very small, not a lot of pieces. I think it's like 100, 175. And Corey is doing his big puzzle, or his big puzzle, his big Lego that he got for Christmas from my parents, which was the Up Castle. So, what did I say, castle? castle. I guess you can consider Mr. Fredrickson being in a castle. So with that, we are going to start date night. We have Frozen on right now, so we get to see Baby Spenny. And Baby Spenny is here with us tonight, as it is. So it is time to do our Lego and enjoy the rest of our date night. I, I mean, your Lego is going to take a lot longer. I'll probably have to color while you're finishing out your Lego. You're going to be depressed to have to color. Why? Because you think I'm going to like the Lego so much? Mm -hmm. This is my first ever Lego. Let's see how it goes. Ah, oh, it's a baby face! It's a baby you! It is the next day. I ended up falling asleep on the couch last night once we finished our Legos, which I'm going to show you right now. And I was just a sleepy gal. I think I ended up going to sleep, like falling asleep at like 10.30. And then we woke up at like 11, 11.15. 11 and Corey was like, all right, it's time to go to bed. Like, we got to gotta get to bed and the worst thing is when you're like really comfy cozy and asleep on the couch and you have to get into your bed sometimes I'm like oh can you just leave me here like just let me fend for myself we had such a lovely date night last night it was so nice to just like chill out with each other he's making a coffee in the kitchen right now he actually just made me a nice warm cup of coffee and brought it to me in bed which was so sweet but I want to show my Legos to you guys because they're so cute I did the little one my first one and Corey did the up house how was date night last night did oh you God, like date night too spectacular yeah mm -hmm. good morning from your Walt Disney World long sleeve and and my Walt Disney World transportation do you think that's your favorite mug or Without do you or do you think it beats the Toy Story or is it like a 1A, 1B situation? It's like a 1A, 1B situation. Which one's 1A? Toy Story, probably. Yeah, that one's... Courtney had it in her... My sister-in-law had it in her hand the other day. Or who was it? it was, oh, no. no it, was, it, was it was Leah, Leah. One, my mom's best friend's daughter. And she, like, wiggled and, like, almost dropped it. And I was like, 
Corey will go to federal prison if you drop that because he'll have to kill you and he'll be sad. So let's show Legos now. All right, so here are the cutie little Legos. I did this one, which is Elsa's Ice Palace, and it also turns. So cute, it came with Olaf and Elsa, and then it also comes with Anna and Kristoff where you build their little sleds, which I think is so cute. And then Corey did the up house that my parents got him for Christmas. I have to say, I think the balloons on it are like my favorite part of the entire thing. And it came with Doug and Mr. Fredrickson and Russell in the front yard with the mailbox and like the helium tank, which is so cute. There's stuff in the back, right? Can you turn it around? I'd, I'm nervous to touch it because I don't want something to happen to it and then it'd be my fault. Oh. Like that? Like that. Yay, look at that. So then we have, it's very detailed, which is something I love about Lego. So like, for example, the Mind top you, has. Mind you, these are stickers that you have to put on. Yeah, you have to put on all of them, but there's like their adventure book is in here and their bedroom. And then they have like their, that's I think, that's Mr. Fredrickson's chair because they yes. probably couldn't fit both. Fit the both. record player. And then they also have like the house door, little plant. I just feel like the Legos are so detailed and so intricate. And I feel like these are both so cute. I can't wait to put them on our bookshelf. And so just like that, I'm going to end the vlog. Corey is fixing his like roof of his up house because one of the things like came off. So he's got to put it back together. But I'm going to end the vlog here. Thanks so much for spending a nice little chatty, chaotic, and comfy cozy day with us. So with that being said, I love you guys so much. And I will see you in the next one. Bye, everyone. Bye,